In today's tutorial, I am going to show you how to make a realistic baggage screening machine. As you can see here, this is completely designed and developed in PowerPoint. I have put a, a TV or screen display here on the top. I have created four gear wheels and a scan button. And when I click the scan button, the gears will start spinning. The baggage goes inside and you can see the content on the screen and the bags comes out. And I've given the environment kind of an airport. You can see here I've created a big glass display with the clouds visible. And let me just show you how it works. When I click on the scan, you can see here started spinning. The bag will go inside and the content of the bag will appear on the screen and the bags comes out. So let's see how to do this in PowerPoint. Now let's start the tutorial with uh, creating the wheel or the gear. So go to new slide, insert, select shapes and uh, stars and banners, select the 12 point star and draw the star while holding the shift key so that you'll get the equal size, the length and the width. And then you can just make it somewhat drag inside. And then I'm going to add the oval shape and I'm going to place the oval shape on top of the star and make sure that it is aligns, sorry, align center and align middle. And then I can just go to merge shape. I can simply say subtract here. All right. I can just increase the size if I need further. Let me just see how it will look like. Again, select both the objects, align center, align middle, and then subtract. So it will the wheel something looks like this. All right, and I can just remove the outline. Again, I can use something like this, which is I insert. I'm going to add one more oval shape. Insert shapes, select oval and draw the oval with equal size and width make it no outline and you can say shape fill as wide and just bring it on top and make sure that you align center and align middle again i'm going to add one more which is making it smaller one and i'm going to give a different color Again, align center, align middle. So this color also, I'm just going to make it something like that. So if you see here, now my wheel is ready. I can just merge shapes and group it. Right mouse click and I can simply group it. So my wheel is ready now, right? If I give the animation, the animation will look like this. Add animation, say spin clear okay now so wheels are ready now if there's a different ways also of creating the wheels but i just show you the simplest and the easiest way of uh, creating the wheel now i'm going to create a conveyor belt which is this shape now so let me just put this aside and go to insert select shapes and select this rounded corner rectangle maybe this size and just make it something like this all right maybe we can reduce the size and i can give same some gray color and right mouse click go to format shape under effects say 3d format i'm just going to select something which is uh, maybe this one all right so you got the the 3d effect here all right and then i'm going to create one more rounded round corner rectangle maybe this size i will make it some dark color and shape fill as no fill and I'll bring it here. All right. So 
something which is like this now i'm just going to place the wheels here reduce the size so that it will fit it here and just say format bring to front this size may be this not the size the color i will just give some light color so that the wheel is visible all right and then just bring it here similarly i'm just going to put uh, total four wheels here two here and two the other side press ctrl d and something like this okay so if you see here i'll just go to animation animation pane so this should happen at the click of a button and with previous so i'm just selecting all right now you can just select all right mouse click effect options you can say it, uh, it has to uh, rotate 360 degrees clock clockwise and the timing i'll make it uh, uh, very slow so that it should not move uh, spin fast or i can make it slow maybe very slow it's okay and repeat i want that to them to repeat it's uh, twice and just say okay now all right so our conveyor belt the one part is almost ready now so let's start with doing the the next one i'm going to add some legs here for that uh, insert shapes and i can select something which is maybe 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 we can use yeah all right and i can say no outline and shape fill some dark color and just bring it here one more reduce the size and bring the other side press ctrl d and all right and then I'm going to add one more rectangle, which is something here like this. Yeah. And everything I'm just pulling it down so that I have space to play around. And this also I'm making as no outline and shape will be some darker shape all right and then you can use some more stuff all right where i can just simply again add some more like this some lines and no outline this side as well just uh, spend some time in uh, doing the alignment and for this i'm just going to give some shadow effect maybe this side like this okay and for this two as well if you want you can give some shadow effect okay now it's time to uh, create the screen right with the screen will be here for that i'm going to create this again i'm selecting this uh, manual operation under the flow chart and let me just and make it flip vertical and then select rounded corner so i'm just going to add the screen here okay shape outline i'll just give some dark colors and fill effect will be something like this yeah 
so if you see here our design is almost ready now let me just bring this down this also some dark colors let me reduce the size of the screen this is way big so maybe this is enough and this one again i'll make it as no outline right so something it will look like this okay now i'm going to create a, a bag okay to create the bag for that i'm going to use insert shapes and i'm going to select the shape which is say uh, this one rectangle top corners rounded and just make something like a looks like a bag shape and all right and then i'm going to use the handles to use the handles i'm going to use this one the block arc all right just put it here again no outline for this also no outline and you can just give some designs if you want so let me just increase the size yes all right so i'm just going to add some shapes to the bag and no outline and give some different color here maybe i'll use maybe this is a ladies bag so for that i'm going to use something called pink okay adjust it properly and this color also i'm just going to use more fill color something like this this also i'll use the dark pink all right so now select everything the bags and then group it all right so our bag is ready now so we just need to put inside the conveyor belt all right so i have just created some more stands here if you see here for that also i can simply use this shape which is uh, the free form shape i can just all right and then you can increase the weight of that one you can just copy and paste this side and you can rotate it all right now it's time to add the animation effect on the back for that i'm going to use animation go to add animation and select go down motion paths okay so instead of going down i want this back to go this side and till here all right like this so if i go to the animation pane this should happen after previous and it should be timing should be very slow maybe i'll just say 10 seconds and let me just make somewhat up and i will say send to back all right so if you see here instead of saying after previous i will say with previous only but i will delay for say two seconds so let's play now
so the bag goes inside and comes and stop the other side all right so this also i will just make it down clear so instead of two seconds let make it one second yeah so this also let me just bring it somewhat down yes okay now i have to once the back comes here i want the contents to be displayed on the the tv screen so how to do that one for example first of all what i'm going to do is i'm just going to make a duplicate of this bag all right and i'm going to here format i will simply say as no fill and shape outline and i will give some dark outlines here can you see so and then i will put some stuff inside looks like something maybe a mobile phone or some other stuff again make it no fill i'll just slightly bend it and i will put inside so that it looks like something some contents some stuff is inside the bag maybe something like this all right and then i will just simply group this one so what I'm going to do now, again, I'm going to do the add animation for this as well. So this should go together here like this. I'll reduce the size. Maybe, yeah, this much. So it should go like this at the same time. So the moment it enters, this also should enter from here. So that's the animation we need to do now for this. So for, I'm going to add animations again. So I'm going to add the animation on this one. Go to animation, add animation, and again, go down, select the path, and instead of going down, it should make to the left side. So it should be till here, all right? Just make it a straight line. all right yeah so this will also happen with previous maybe the timing is again i'm just going to make it same 10 seconds and the delay is of say let it put one second and we'll see how it look like if not we have to just do it again All right, I think this is uh, perfect. Let me just play again. Maybe some small light delay here. So this one, I will just move a little bit this point and let's play now. I think still. So actually it should happen the same time. Yes. I think this is perfect. The only thing is this bag is visible here. So it doesn't look good for that. We'll do simple trick. I'm just going to add shape and add one white patch on top of that. Make it no outline and shape fill will be white similarly i'll just copy this one and paste it the other side okay now let's play yes 
so this one should be some more gap should not be there yeah yes can you see that so it's playing perfectly all right okay i'm just going to add some background here for that go to insert shapes and select a rectangle and make it as no outline give some different color and send it back all right and then you can add some window panes like this somewhat darker color and no outline all right and you can just simply control d and you can increase the size and press one more and add at the bottom send to back all right this also send back this as well send back so our final slide looks like this the bags goes inside the contents are visible on the screen and comes out and the conveyor belt stops so and apart from that one you can add some objects uh, at the background like clouds and planes uh, something like that you can uh, it's up to you to use your creativity and add few stuff on this slide i hope uh, this presentation or this tutorial will increase your knowledge in powerpoint and you can apply in various uh, other slides as well so that's it from me friends uh, see you soon with more interesting stuff